Hi there, this is Charlene from Radical Feng Shui with Charlene, a YouTube channel. Please go check out my videos and subscribe. So one thing I just wanna to touch on that I did when I was in Mexico last year was the importance of travel and Feng Shui. Now, yes, I'm a wind, water, Feng Shui gypsy. I do travel, I move around a lot. And because I'm a triple earth person in nine star key astrology, it's very easy for me to make home wherever I am. That's not everybody's ability. I'm lucky that way, but I wanna point out to all you nomadic people that travel around, um, the people that work online, that are traveling all over the world and working, uh, it's really important to understand why placement is infinitely um, crucial to know about when you're traveling around and working a lot. So I know that there's a lot of folks out there that, you know, whether they're traveling for fun or whether you're traveling for weddings or whether you're traveling to work, having good backing is super important. So I, you know, I heard stories from my teachers and from my fellow students and colleagues years ago about how they always make sure they have a really good headboard. Now, as you see behind me, there's a mullion at my back, but typically I wouldn't have a window at my back. Same for when you're traveling. Make sure you have a good headboard, or even if you have to hang up a sarong behind you, it's something you're putting there to make sure you're covered. It's symbolic. Having somebody have your back, it's very important in Feng Shui, and it symbolizes north. It's the turtle in the physical landscape Feng Shui. So it has to be solid, and it has to be there to give you the energy to look forward towards your vision, where you're going. And ultimately, in Feng Shui, the travel gua is the Northwest, which is about travel and helpful people. Now, I just mentioned this in a video not too long ago, a short about how important the opposites were. That was in my last series. But I would also like to say that it's really crucial for when you're traveling because helpful people are really important. So when you're traveling, make sure that the Northwest area of the room you're in or the space you're using is beautiful, well-appointed, where you get to work is good, and all those things that you're looking for, for pleasurable travel, functional work travel, is in place because helpful people are really important when we travel. Having a lifeline, having a plan, knowing where we're going, all of this is super crucial. So look back in past videos, check out what I did last winter about the Northwest and travel, about those nomadic gypsies out there that are working online, it's all very relevant in Feng Shui, your placement on the planet, and how that serves you for your empowerment. Thanks for joining, and I'm on the road again, so you'll see more videos from other places soon. Ciao, make sure you subscribe.